Welcome back, Welcome everyone. Back. Thanks for tuning in with Think Plant Based. Think Plant Based is back at it. Yeah. Another week. We have a special guest today. All the way from the Midwest. Midwest. Wisconsin. Billy. Hi, Billy Grisak. Welcome to our show. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Sure. Oh, our pleasure. So, yeah, tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and uh, your weight loss journey <laughs> and what inspired you to make your lifestyle changes. Yeah. Well, thanks. So, so uh, I'm originally from New Jersey, uh, and I'm a musician, a full-time musician, and I've done that my whole life, and that brought me out here. And I've been out in Wisconsin for about, oh, I don't know, since 1999. I've been living here, and it's, it, it's pretty neat. Uh, as far as my um, weight loss and or health journey goes, I've been, uh, uh, I'll be 62 this year, and uh, I've always been a big person. Uh, I was born uh, like as a 10 pound baby to a 90 pound woman, my poor mom. <laughs> 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 and coming from a, 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 a family from the East Coast, that was a lot of uh, Italian and uh, Irish background, German background. There was a lot of food that was oh, yeah. uh, always being cooked. There was always a pot of something on the stove. For sure. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, in the 60s, 70s, into the 80s, you know, people didn't worry too much about nutrition. Uh, uh, if you got, you know, fat, they said, stop eating, don't eat so much. That was, <laughs> that was the diet. Uh, and uh, over the years, you know, I've go, I went from being a 10 pound baby to a 200 pound teenager to a 300 and some pound uh, young adult. And uh, eventually uh, I topped out at around 420 pounds, roughly. Wow. Uh, and by that point, I had um, all the all the chronic diseases. I had uh, heart disease, uh, diabetes, high blood pressure. Uh, my cholesterol was through the roof, uh, and uh, ultimately ended up with cancer. So I don't oh, know. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um, uh, so I, I, I've been through a lot. Yeah. Uh, now the, the good news is through uh, lifestyle changes primarily, and I, we can get into all the details. Sure. Uh, I've I've lost about a good 120 pounds. Wow! Congrats. Uh, yeah, congratulations. Uh, thanks, and yeah. uh, uh, appear to have reversed my heart disease and type two diabetes and uh, blood pressure and cholesterol and all that is under control and i'm currently cancer free oh, so wow. uh congrats uh, that's yeah. good it's been quite the journey yeah know? i bet it's tough yeah but, but that's uh that's where i was and uh then then i uh got into this but i don't know if you want to uh ask me some other specific yes questions. yeah we and would I... like to know how um you start your plant-based journey as well like how this got connected as well because a lot of people try to lose weight but they never think to go plant-based and that's actually the, the easiest says, way to go, go on a keto diet or something like that yeah <laughs> exactly know? because there's so many Carbs diets the out enemy, there right? right and we get desperate yeah. to lose weight especially when we are sick yeah yeah well it's funny it's like uh if you want to know about dieting, ask ask a morbidly obese person, because uh, most of the morbidly obese people, you can meet me being one of them, we've probably been on every diet that's ever been invented, oh. you know. And uh, sadly, doctors uh, are like one of the worst resources uh, for diet and lifestyle changes. Uh, at least they have been in the past. I think it's starting to change. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the past, I think with all the thousands of hours that they get in training, I think they only get like seven hours or something like that of actual... Even less, I think. Uh, yeah, it's, it's... I'm not even sure, but I'm mm -hmm. sure that they're not the... Yeah, less, well, it's, it's less than a week of training. Mm -hmm. Right. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and so people, you know, you go to your doctor and you think, doctor i've got problems help me and being a doctor you would think that they know what they're talking about and and it's not that they have bad intentions but i they're they've never really been trained for that so there's a lot of misinformation out there do you, do you hear that a lot when you interview people as well about misinformation and doctors just not 
being informed about other options besides we, medication. Yeah, we good do, question. Yeah. We actually do, but we have a lot of like uh, vegan doctors on our show and they seem very well informed about nutrition because they understand that it goes hand in hand, nutrition right. and being healthy or being sick. It depends on your nutrition as well and your activity level as well. We can't forget yeah. that. Mm-hmm. And it's because of like people like you uh, that are helping to spread the word. It's, it's changed drastically. Wisconsin, I don't know like in Canada, but in Wisconsin, we're still a little bit behind. Uh, it's getting better, but it's it's fairly difficult to find a plant-based or lifestyle doctor where I live. But I've been pretty fortunate with things. So here's what happened to me that really uh, got me started on, on the road to being plant-based. Uh, I think it was around 2016. Um I was having a really tough time breathing. Um, I would get really tired. Uh, I was, uh, I had gained a lot of weight. Um, and uh, I started having chest pains. And uh, so I went to the doctor. He recommended I see a cardiologist. And the cardiologist basically said that you're all blocked up. You, you're you at like, you know, 80, 90% blockages in almost all of your uh arteries and stuff going on in your heart and you're going to need to get uh bypass surgery oh wow so uh i'm always posting everything on uh uh facebook i'm very transparent so if you ever follow me uh on facebook you'll like you know you'll know pretty much everything i'm doing in life so i posted doctor says you know i need heart surgery this is what's really interesting Someone that I really didn't know, because I'm an entertainer and I have lots of people following me, I don't always know who they are, but somebody I didn't know said, Billy, don't get heart bypass surgery. There's another option. And I'm like, what's that? <sighs> and he says, well, if you switch to a, a plant-based uh, diet, uh, you can reverse this and you're not going to need to have bypass surgery. At the time... I didn't believe them. And I basically said, thanks for your uh, thoughts and your ideas. But my doctor told me I need to have a bypass surgery. Yeah. So at that point in my life, some random person saying, you don't need life-saving surgery. You can eat broccoli. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Sounds crazy, right? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it does. (laughs) So, so. This was probably the biggest mistake I regret that I have right now is that I didn't try it then because I probably could have avoided it. So not only did I get the surgery, but I had a quintuple bypass. Oh, wow. So that for, for people who Can don't you know what tell that us is, more about it, what that means? Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically what they do is your heart has different... Uh, it's plumbing basically you have all these pipes going to your heart your arteries and veins and i have built up so much uh uh blockages uh in there that the blood wasn't getting through so what they do is and this is horrible so if you're squeamish just plug your ears for a minute and go la 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 <laughs> but what they do is they, they actually go and they take veins out of your legs so they took about like this much uh, vein out of each one of my legs And then they go in and they crack your chest open, something I never want to have done again. And uh, they go in and they they bypass. They literally say, well, this vein here uh, is blocked. We're going to sew the vein from his leg here and put it over here. And we're going to bypass this blockage. And they had to do that five times in my chest. (gasps) Wow. I can't believe you're still alive. You're a strong man. (laughs) That's quite a crazy Um, operation. It's not a light uh, thing to have done, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so, but now here's where it gets really weird. And this is where, uh, I'm not saying don't trust your doctor. Again, your doctors mean well, and they, they do everything they can for you, but it's always a good idea to get as many opinions as you can. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is what I was told after my heart surgery was, okay, you had heart surgery. Now you're fine. Uh, a lot of people have a hard time eating after heart surgery. So eat whatever you want. It doesn't matter as long as you can get it down. Well, you, that's something you should never tell a what? morbidly obese 
food addict. Yeah, yeah that's not a good... Uh... <laughs> that's dangerous. So, three months after my heart surgery, I'm so embarrassed to say this, I basically lived on donuts and pizza. Wow. Well, your doctor said you can eat anything yeah. you want. You so, of course, you eat your, your favorite doctor. food. <laughs> yep. Doctor said, eat whatever tastes good to you. Oh. Wow. And and that's what got me in trouble in the first place, right? <sighs> so, there was no real education about nutrition or diet. It was like, we fixed you. Now, go do what you did before. Literally, that was like the instructions. Right. Wow. So, here was bad news. So, after my heart surgery... I went from like uh, four, maybe about 400 pounds up to uh, 400, almost, almost 430 pounds at one point after the surgery because they really didn't give me any direction as far as what uh, somebody that had heart surgery should have. So, so that, that was kind of spooky. So even though I had the heart surgery done and I was breathing better, it, they really didn't get down to what the cause of it was and, you know, yeah. how, how to reverse it. Yeah. Right. Right. And then, so then that, that brought me to the real epiphany uh, was, um, I, I, boy, I don't know if I want to get into this or not, but I guess I will. So after the heart surgery, uh, I, I was starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, I felt like... Uh, I should probably start, you know, exercising or, you know, eating right, whatever that was. And then my my daughter passed away. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, she uh, she was born with something called Turner syndrome, uh, and she had a heart defect, which we thought was okay. And uh, she basically just uh, went swimming one day, and like her heart just stopped, and that oh, was no. it. That was like. Ooh really unexpected and then i i sort of kind of lost the will to live oh. um and then my my health got really super bad uh and i said i was probably getting up there around 420 430 pounds somewhere in there uh, not doing very well then i after that uh i met a gentleman at uh my wife's birthday party it was her friend's husband and he had heart problems and he would he reversed them uh very similar situations to what he had a heart attack and didn't want to have a heart attack anymore so he went on this thing called a plant-based diet uh which i wasn't real familiar with the term and he had read a book and he followed this book uh by uh dr esselstyn who i'm sure you've heard of yeah and it's called how to prevent and reverse heart disease mm -hmm. and and, and, and he had lost 100 pounds because of the diet, and uh, it, it helped, helped him with his heart problems. Right. And uh, I was getting really scared because I was starting to get chest pains again after the oh. bypass surgery. And then I found out that a lot of people have to go back and they have to get it done again. What? Or get stents. Wow. <sighs> and I never want to have my chest cracked open again, so I got this book. And I told my wife, I think I need to do this. And she was 100% on board. And, and my wife actually is probably my greatest success story. Aww. That We could talk about that too. But I mean, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. I probably would be dead. Uh, but she really helped out a lot. So we got the book, How to Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. And we followed it like religiously. Right. Uh, so basically, I stopped eating... Uh, all meat products, uh, animal products. Uh, so whether it's like uh, either the, the, the meat or the eggs or the cheese, that all went. And then the uh, thing, Esselstyn in the book says, don't eat oil. Right. And he makes a really strong case for that. Mm -hmm. So we cut out the oil and the animal products. And in uh, six months, I lost 80 pounds wow. without yeah. even trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. Yeah, and it my, feels my like you're eating I... a lot too. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You can eat so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and the variety, you know, and, yeah. and and people like when they say, "Oh, you're vegan or you eat plant based? What do you eat all day?" It's like you know, <laughs> going on a carrot and a piece of kale. Like, no. Yeah, that's usually what they think. <laughs> yeah, right. How do you get your protein? Do you get enough vitamins? 
I would never eat just carrots. That's what they say. <laughs> What's really funny is before, and, and you probably hear this all the time, before you start eating like that, you're eating a, a Big Mac and yeah. a milkshake. Yeah. Nobody says, hey, is there any protein? Exactly. In no. no. Is there any fiber yeah. in there? Yeah. <laughs> What's fiber? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. So, so that was the first the first step for me was uh, uh, how to uh, prevent reverse heart disease by Dr. Esselstyn. And um, that did wonders for me. I, I, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. So, so I didn't really do this to lose weight. This is what's interesting. The whole thing for me was I just don't want to ever have my chest cracked open again. Yeah. That, right. that was like my goal. I said, I don't care about anything else, but I, I never want to do this again. And and I'm sad in a way because I think I might have been able to avoid this. I think I could have avoided it, yeah. but I wasn't ready to hear it. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. it does. Oh yeah, yeah. Does. I mean, we all were yeah, in we that all situation, right? Hear what and we, we want to hear, or see what we want to see, right? Sometimes. Right. And, yeah. Same yeah. how we you know? select social media too, right? We select what we want to see and what we don't want to see. We mute, mm -hmm. right? We follow what we want to see and unfollow what we don't want to see. <laughs> yeah, it can be a good thing. It can be not because I mean, social media still makes you watch certain things that you should see so they can sell certain things to you. So you got to just be more aware in the world, how you live your life, you know, how to interact with people who you want to be surrounded with and all these things, right? Mm -hmm. Awareness mm -hmm. is the key to a happy life as well. Yeah. yeah. So then after reading the book and following that for six months, I started getting really interested in the, the culture. Mm -hmm. And I looked across a couple of documentaries. Um, what the Health was, was a major one for me. Oh, yeah. And... What's that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, one. Right. That one's good. Um, forks over knives, and and I just really was amazed at at the things that they were saying, and then I became through those uh, documentaries and some others, I, I found all these different doctors and and celebrities, I guess you'd call them, uh, <laughs> like uh, Cogwell and. Uh, uh, Oh, and Dr. Dr. McDougal. McDougal. Uh, right, that. yeah. Yeah. He's very good in my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chef AJ. Uh, right. And uh, there's just a community of people that, that do do this. They, they, they live this lifestyle. And again, I, I didn't do it for weight loss. I did it for health reasons. So the weight loss was kind of a bonus. Right. And a surprise. Yeah. And the other thing that was a surprise was at one point I was on 23 different medications. Wow. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm down to two. Wow. Maybe three. That's amazing. Wow. That. That's impressive. That's yeah. Really and, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't take any more diabetes uh, medications. Uh, I was oh, wow. Are you off diabetes? To, uh, you don't have any diabetes anymore? Wow. You no, know, like if a doctor, if I didn't tell them I had diabetes in my past, they just did a blood test on me they wouldn't come back and say you have diabetes wow. they yeah so my i don't know what my ac a1c is exactly but you know it's under the 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 number that, that says pre-diabetic so i'm not even pre-diabetic or anything so i don't wow. take any medication at all wow i was on three oral medications plus shots of insulin at one point yeah and uh, so that that went away mm -hmm. that's awesome wow that's good. The only medications I think I take now are uh, uh, heart related because I had I had the surgery, right? Uh, and I have AFib, which seems to have improved also. So, so there's like a couple things that they won't take me off, but I think that's pretty good going from you know 23 to two. I oh, think it really is. <laughs> I think Definitely. that you should give yourself a pat on the back because yeah. that, that's quite an amazement of. Uh, lifestyle change you know and it just goes to show you that if you set your mind to something and you really want to get it done it's uh you know your possibilities are limited or unlimited right exactly you got to acknowledge the achievements as well because we can be so tunnel vision to what we want to achieve mm -hmm. but we got to celebrate all the things we achieved like all the things you pretty much cured as well like the diseases you had the medications you had to take wow and you're still alive too with all the things you went you're through a fighter yeah 
Yeah. <laughs> you really are. Yeah. And strong. You know, most of my life, it's funny. It's like most of my life I would have doctors starting, like in my 20s, they go, Billy, you know, you got to make some changes. You're not going to make it to 30. Then at 30, they're like, Billy, you got to make some changes. You're not going to make it to 40. You know, and then <laughs> you're not going to make it to 50. Well, I'll be 62 here in May, and I'm still around. A lot of my friends aren't. Uh, and they were thinner and appeared to be healthier than me. Oh. But, you know, the, the diabetes has taken up many of my friends. I just lost one of last week. Oh, diabetes so and heart disease and cancer. I, I've lost so many friends, and I'm still here, which blows my mind. You know, it's like uh, I was the guy that the doctors kept saying, you know, you're not going to make it, you know. So speaking yeah. of that, so here I go. I've done all this work, uh, transitioned into plant-based food, uh, reversed the medic, you know, uh, conditions, got rid of the medication, and then I was having some weird problems. I went to the doctor, and after a long, drawn-out story, they decided that I had cancer. And this happened after all this. So hmm. apparently, and this is where it gets weird because some people like. Well, Billy, you went you went vegan and now you got cancer. And I'm like, that's not the way it works. I had cancer before. I <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? You hear stories. Yeah, like that. it's not a miracle cure all. Right. right? That's not what <laughs> we're talking about. Genetics and environment and everything plays yeah, exactly. a big Stress. toll on things. So yeah. yeah, and not only that, but like if you read like uh, Dr. Greger and stuff like that, it's like you know that stuff. Furman, Dr. Furman, those things are brewing in you for, you know, 5, 10, 20, 30 years before they show up, you right. know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so I was blessed with an unusual, rare, aggressive, unknown origin, unknown primary lymphoma type of cancer. Uh -huh. And when they found it, I was at stage four, and they said, you're, you're going to die. Well, and you, you said yeah. you were blessed that you had that? Uh, blessed or burdened. <laughs> okay. What the? What it, the blessing was that it really made me uh, get back and do plant based with a vengeance because right. you know when you do things for a while sometimes you get a little lax with it. You know? Sure, we're human, yeah. right? Yeah, and uh, and and I'm the king of failure. I mean, I'm always people always say, "Oh, I messed up," you know, and it's like now now I'm never going to do well, and that's not true. It's like it's not how often you mess up, it's how often you get back on it. It's, yeah, exactly. It's, it's what you do after you mess up, right? Yeah, right. you can always go back. It's not like, oh, you're doing a mistake. Life is, is uh, <laughs> part of uh, exactly. you know, making mistakes so you can learn and you can grow and you can get Yeah. You know, I mean, better. you know, as a musician, right? Imagine you do a song and you mess up and you don't go yeah, back you and say note. you have a show, right? <laughs> oh, hey, audience, uh, I messed up. I'm not going to do my show anymore. Okay, bye. Yeah, I oh, got money anyway, so already from you. So I'm quit being a musician because I hit the wrong note. Exactly. That's how it works. <laughs> That's that's one of the coolest things I've ever heard. That's right. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. that makes us resilient. Sure. Going yeah. back and believing in us, we can even do better. We stand up. I mean, look at the babies too, right? I think that's they, what makes us fall human. fall and get up again. Right? Yeah. Humans, we make mistakes so we can learn and we can, we learn from other people's mistakes as well, right? Right. So we can get smarter. So here's what happened to me again in, in the hospital. So here I am, I'm in the hospital, I've, I've got cancer, and they're going to bring me food to my room, right? And I'm like, do you have any dietary needs? And I'm like, yeah, I, 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 you know, it's better just to call it vegan than it is to say whole food, plant-based, usually. Yeah. Uh, right. People don't get it. Mm -hmm. But listen to this, this story is, is unbelievable. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I, I'm a vegan, and... Uh, uh, they're okay, no problem. And then they bring up my breakfast. They okay, go, okay, uh, you're a vegan, so we got your vegan breakfast here. And you open up, here's your nice toast and your egg. Huh? Whoa. Hey. I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't eat that. Looks well, like you're vegan, you eat eggs, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> and they're like, okay, well, what can you eat? I'm like, I don't eat meat and, uh, and, and I don't eat dairy. You're like, oh, okay, no problem. And then... Lunch came. They said, you're a vegan, right? I'm like, yes. They go, well, here's your lunch. A nice piece of fish. What? From the hospital. Wow. I'm like, They're uh, really informed of, <laughs> of dietary needs there, eh? 
the vent, the joke. dietitian, I'm sure this isn't the way all hospitals are, but right. the, the lady comes up, she's okay. And this really scared me when, when this happened. So she comes up, she goes, okay, Billy, uh, we know you're having some problems before even sending it. it says here, you're a vegan. So what exactly do vegans eat? Well, at least they asked you. Yeah. <laughs> trying. <laughs> they said trying number three. <laughs> but but this is a, a person that, you know, has a, some kind of degree yeah, in no. nutrition and had to come to ask me what, 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 what is a vegan diet. What? Right. So, yeah, that was interesting. So uh, very, 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 very. So I've, I've had a lot of experiences with uh, with doctors and hospitals and stuff. And okay. after the cancer treatment, it was very hard uh to 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 eat properly uh at the hospital there they just didn't have a clue so uh after i went through all my 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 cancer treatment stuff i gained some of my weight back so what i did and what i do now and i do this probably once a month is i do something called going to mars and but what and, and i tell people okay i'm going to mars for a week i'll see you and basically, that's the riff on the movie The Martian. Have you ever seen The Martian? Uh, sounds familiar. Yeah, it sounds familiar. I haven't I seen it in years. But... So uh, yeah. this guy gets stranded on Mars and all he has to eat are potatoes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one's a yes. good movie. Yeah, like, yes. We watched it, uh, remember? So, so he was growing potatoes. I... Yes, Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon. Is that right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's so a good that's one. what I do now to sort of keep myself in check uh, is about once a month, sometimes twice a month, I will go to Mars and I basically do what's considered like a potato reset. Right. And I'll do that for like about a week at a time, about once every month or twice a month. If I'm, uh, if I've had issues and I've been overeating. <laughs> so, uh, so, so potatoes have become my go-to, uh, weight loss food. Is that interesting or what? It is for us. We understand but we love... but for the majority of people are going to think that you're going to get big from eating potatoes right yeah people are <laughs> carbs shocked make how you much fat so you don't eat potatoes because they're mostly carbs yeah exactly right or, or the whole or the whole diabetes thing yeah right it's mm, yeah i'll be like i can't eat potatoes i have diabetes and i'm like dude i cured my diabetes eating from potatoes. potatoes i don't know why i think potatoes get a bad rap because they, they either are fried sometimes or mm -hmm. they're you know mostly fried <laughs> and that's i think where it becomes an issue but that's if you true. eat just a baked potato i mean you're going to be so full before you can even get near the amount of calories you need for like the day yeah, so much fiber so in <laughs> well yeah and i mean and when i do this i mean that's that's what i do so usually so like a this is so if anybody's interested in like weight loss with with whole food plant-based not just the health benefits uh when i do these like trips to mars basically uh I start the morning off. I eat hash browns. Yummy. Uh, and my yeah. wife has a um, an air fryer, so uh, she uh, uh, gets these frozen hash browns, which are just potatoes. So one of the problems when you buy anything prepackaged, you got to be super careful, right? Because they always they always sneak oil in. Yeah. They always sneak sugar or fruit fructose or corn syrup. You know, they put in all kinds of chemicals. So if you do buy prepackaged stuff, you got to look and see that it just has the one ingredient in it, right? right. Mm -hmm. So these wonderful uh, shredded potatoes from, I think, Bob's Red Mill. That's good company. And, uh, yeah. She throws them right in the uh, uh, air fryer. And then what she does, because of me and my cholesterol issues, she takes uh, some oatmeal uh, and toasts it. And then she sprinkles the oatmeal on top of the hash browns for me. Oh, yeah. Mm, that so sounds I, good. Yeah. So that's my typical breakfast. And then for lunch, I'll either have just some boiled uh, potatoes. We always keep boiled potatoes in the fridge. Uh, and then for dinner, uh, she makes this, uh, it's almost like pot roast without the, the roast. So she put the potatoes and the carrots and celery and the onions and cooked it up in a vegetable broth. Yum. So my wife literally, I, I mean, I've, I've got it. If you ever, if, again, if you follow my posts, uh, it's like my wife basically is it's like i have a live-in chef almost you know i mean i'm, I'm <laughs> perfect so it's good to have a supporter and in your you in your do. corner right yeah. keep you can't do it yeah no. always experimenting for sure so i mean like like how can i make this without oil how can i make that without oil how can i make this out of potatoes 
It's <laughs> like when I do like my weeks of potatoes, she experiments and she's made she's made meatballs out of potatoes that are what? amazing. Yeah. Wow. We make cheese cheese sauce out of potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. So does she? Do you make? Cheese I make sauce my favorite cheese potatoes? sauce and oh, so potatoes good. and some little bit of cashews yeah. and that's it. Have you, that, that's it's so good. Ha, yeah, have you ever, so Billy? Good. Have you ever had um, potatoes with rosemary? Oh yeah. Yes. Like it's the best yeah. one of like we have oh. Italian background, so that's what on we a love. Foca- the, on a focaccia, if you're yeah. cheat day with the not <laughs> with doing potato. <laughs> potato. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. And. uh and then I've, I, I've, and I've had the good fortune to, like, you know, talk to some, some of the potato people, like uh, Andrew Taylor. I don't know if you've met Andrew or not. No. No. Uh, oh, you should have him on your show. Yeah. He's, um, he's uh, spudfit.com. Spudfit.com. Yeah. He, uh, he's the guy from Australia. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I think I, s- I watched a video today about him. He was on a potato diet, right? And lost a lot For of... One- one year Whoa. yeah yeah that's actually the guy yeah, i i watched today yeah i saw that guy yeah yeah so i i know him he's he's awesome and then chef aj you ever see what that little girl eats oh my gosh <laughs> it's like she in the morning she cooks up all this broccoli and like one of these yams that are like bigger than her head <laughs> and like she that for lunch it's bigger than she is and that's what she eats and it's amazing though but yeah it's you know a lot of times what i find people take perfectly good food that's good for them and it's what you put on it that becomes the problem you know it's like a potato is great but you know most people won't eat a potato unless they drown it in butter and (laughs) sour cream and bacon and cheese well guess what it's potatoes fault (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's always yeah it is right oh yeah it's true it's really the potato. Yeah. I like to see so, someone try to get fat off of just eating potatoes. It's it's near impossible. I don't think you can. No, you can't. Your, your body will no. be like too much fiber. Like <laughs> you'd be full. You get full too quick. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So so I that so so that's it. I mean, and I still have a long way to go. Um, I'm I'm still you know considered morbidly obese. I'm probably another hundred pounds overweight yet. But here's the thing. Uh, at 62 with this type of diet, I have so much energy right. and I, I, I went from literally doing nothing to, uh, I, I go out, I do two to four shows a week. Now I, wow. I teach guitar four days a week. I mean, I'm so active and, and I, and my, everybody says I seem like I'm 20 years younger. Yeah. You yeah, you young. probably are. Yeah. You have a very youthful Health-wise. energy about yourself, you know, and very positive For and sure. very inspiring. I was wondering how so, long have you been doing uh, this plant-based journey now? Yeah. It's yeah. been about six years now. Oh, six okay. years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. great. And, with, and with two major setbacks, uh, the, you know, the whole cancer thing totally derailed me because, right. yeah. you know, chemotherapy, radiation, immunotherapy, bad hospital food. Yeah. So I got derailed and I had to, you know, kind of re go back and start over again almost. Yeah. But uh, again, like when, when, when it happened, when, when things fall apart, I just try to figure out how to put them back together. Right. That's and a smart way to do it. One step back, two step forward, right? Mm-hmm. You just don't give up. That's the key. Yeah. Yeah. And I also find that y- you can't walk around and tell people, uh, randomly, you know, how to do things. But when people ask, yeah, I like to be very transparent and help them and, or if you do shows like this or whatever, because I think it's important to see that, like, if somebody like me can do this, like you can do yeah. it, you know what I mean? For sure. Or between your songs, you know, you say like, yeah, mm-hmm. I've been on a great potato journey here and there and start handing out potatoes you can always at your inspire shows. in between yeah exactly right yeah. there's always i'm um, gonna save your life man Here's yeah a potato eat your veggies and you know make sure you take your health under control it's your responsibility we can't blame anyone else even though yeah. like the doctor would say whatever or they don't teach us about nutrition right or even at school i mean i grew up in germany we learned learn quite a lot about nutrition but i know some other countries don't and yeah like i was always interested in nutrition but some people aren't and then if you're exposed to people that don't eat healthy that's it's still your responsibility yeah. to get into healthy li- living oh absolutely you know and again it's i, I feel really blessed 
Uh, I'm very lucky that my wife is into it. Yeah, that's and great. She basically takes care of me. I mean, it's like she's pack, she packs me lunches, cooks for <laughs> me, you know, and, and she, she, she does it as well. It's, it's really funny. Uh, like, at first, it was kind of a solidarity thing. And, right. Well, I'll, I'll do it when I'm with you, but, like, when I'm out, I'm still going to have chicken nuggets, you know, kind of thing. And now she doesn't even do that that I'm aware of. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, maybe she cheats. Yeah, I don't know. But, <laughs> but, uh, Who knows? But she, she seems to really enjoy this st- way, of, way of eating, this, this lifestyle, too. So we're, we're doing it together. Right. You know, and it, it's been really, really, really great. Uh, I mean, I, I really don't know what else to say about, uh, you know, the, that part of it, other than, you know, uh, it's we call it voodoo science fiction. It's <laughs> like, especially when it's potatoes, because my wife, you know, says, oh, I can't lose weight. I'm, you know, my, I'm over a certain age now where women don't lose weight and blah, blah, blah. And I say, well, just try the potato. She goes, I'll do it. And like she lost like all this weight eating potatoes, and and so we just call it voodoo science fiction. Now. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> yeah, you've been indoctrinated like I feel like our entire lives that like potatoes and carbs are gonna make you fat. The doctors are telling you to go on keto, cut all these good plants out to lose weight. You know, it's it's full of a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But even our pizza has potatoes on it, and people are like, "Wow, you eating like when some we people spend time with bread us? and like... potatoes, and you're not overweight." <laughs> like, no. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. Like, I love being in a room full of people that are very like, "Oh, I'm cutting carbs. I'm cutting carbs." Oh man, I lost five pounds. I cut my carbs. I'm like, hey, you know what? All I eat are carbs, and I've lost 120 pounds. Right. And they're like, that's impossible. I'm like, <laughs> just because they don't see it on the news? Right. Yeah. I don't they, know. they obviously don't know what thermodynamics with energy in, energy out, right? If you can put less energy in, it's got to come from somewhere. Exactly. And, and I've come to the conclusion, you know, the, 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 the animal products uh, are, are just bad for your health in general. But what really gets you when you're trying to, lose weight what really gets you though is the uh the oil and all the hidden oil and all the processed food For uh, sure. you know you know you guys know the phrase junk food vegan right yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> we oh, are yeah. sometimes and, ourselves yeah i mean we're human too i i like junk food <laughs> once in a while sure yeah uh, i always like that oh i'm a vegan i i i, I eat uh fritos i drink dr pepper and then i watch and now you have a uh, oreo afterwards they're all vegan you know <laughs> but it's like uh there's there's a difference between vegan and whole food plant-based Definitely. and uh vegan's a, a step in the right direction for sure yeah i mean you do uh, it for the animals yeah. too you know that's Veganism our motivation it's technically a, a philosophy right? exactly like you benefit from it but you're also helping that less animals get slaughtered and that's Mm-hmm. pretty powerful what's good for you good for them good for the planet everybody mm-hmm. wins yeah, yeah. The way it is. yeah. it's more political it, thing i find being vegan can be yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so so that's that's kind of but that's uh that's that's why i did it that's why i'm doing it that's why and the thing is i told my wife just, just yesterday i'm like you know back when we started you know we we sort of jumped right in but we would still maybe have something that every once in a while you know uh sure. uh that wasn't uh vegan or whole food plant-based as we were getting into it but now i've gotten to the point where like i have like no desire to even eat anything like that anymore does that make sense yeah, yeah because it makes sense yeah. to you right yeah. like who wants to support animal cruelty if you really yeah. are have a compassionate heart for sure. Yeah. And, so, and you make so it I, it's unnecessary when there's potatoes, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. I would just, I'd rather a potato. I love oh, potatoes. I love potatoes. I, can I so can't get potatoes. enough. I, I, I'm never tired of potatoes. Do you know that? I, I never get never. tired. Never. I can't either. remember. <laughs> no. Yeah, me, me neither. Yeah. I, I am never. never That's great. There's so know? many different ways to make them. And like, yeah, they're always they're satiating. Time. I love that how satiating potatoes are. They are. 
Yeah, right. Comfort food, and if cooked right, they're healthy for you. That's true. And yeah. Billy, can you tell us more about your future plans? Because we talked about uh, your journey so much. But yeah, yeah our audience is Yeah, can find your interested. journey that you've been posting. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, I was uh, told to, you know, retire and wrap up my affairs uh, a few years ago. And now I'm not doing that at all. So uh, I'm actually uh, professionally, you know, looking I'm to this point in my life now where I just want to give back because you know one of these days I won't be here it's just a fact of things so I'm trying to share everything that I can with everybody so whether it's music stuff that's why I started teaching guitar and, and instruments uh or just mentoring people but also this lifestyle uh and and it, that can save your life I try to mentor and help people as much as possible the um one thing that I, I that we started doing is my wife has a lot of really great ideas and recipes that I post on various social media platforms, and we're just trying to assemble them all in one place. So I do have a uh, a web uh, presence that there's not much there right now, but it's pretty interesting. It's a Department of Education, so mm -hmm. not education, but education, like right. we're going to get educated. We'll put it in the show uh, notes so people can yeah. get to it. And, uh, that's where you can find my wife's recipes and I'll try to put more of them up there. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, so I, I have a pretty large presence on the Forks Over Knives uh, Facebook group. Uh, if you don't know where to find me, you can usually find me there answering questions and trying to help people inspire Great. them. And then otherwise, uh, all my socials are at Billy Grizak. I'll be in the show notes, I guess, too. Yeah. Yep. Whether it's Facebook or TikTok or whatever. Most of, most of my stuff is a cross between me playing music or talking about uh, uh, diet and lifestyle. So uh, I, I'm just wanting to share whatever I can with anybody I can, anybody that will listen. Because had I listened, just, just remember, had I listened to that one person that reached out, wish I knew who it was because I want to say thank you. Right. It was so long ago. Uh, but, you know, if I had just listened to them, I could have avoided the whole uh, quintuple bypass. So maybe... Uh, if one person hears my message and is inspired, it doesn't have to go through that. That that would be a, a great way to spend my time. That's amazing. I, you That's know, I can awesome. see you being a speaker and going to vegan exhibitions. You know, we have like oh, a yeah. planted expo and stuff. I think that's a key. Keynote that's, speaker. You got to get out there and really inspire the mass here. And that that's the most powerful thing you can do is going to... Let's say, like, I don't know what they have in some of, like, your area in I'm New York. They have sure. that, let's say, like, be it a vegan expo. That's where you need to go because that's where people go that had uh, health issues. Or it doesn't even have to be a vegan one. Yeah. Just where people want to lose weight and want to get healthier. You really need to get out there to inspire more people. That's yeah. what right. I feel. Because you have so much to offer for people to get on a health train. Oh, for sure. And and, and, and I, I also uh, do write songs about this okay. and post them once in a while. So uh, nice. awesome. we did a, a parody uh, of Play That Funky Music. I did it <laughs> on the Chef A show, and it's called uh, Eat a Plant-Based Diet. Nice. And it was funny. So uh, That's awesome. Uh, yeah, you can find that. It's 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 it's, it's probably on TikTok or YouTube or something like okay, that. Okay, cool. That's awesome. That's great. Well, thanks <laughs> well, yeah, so much thanks so for much being for, on our show. Yeah, and sharing your story with we us. We really enjoyed and, it, and we yeah, it was so great to I meet you. I guarantee someone's gonna be inspired by your journey, and uh, you might not get the thanks, but they you're helping. Yeah, you, you really know? do. You're an inspiration. You're very important for this planet to get people have hope again to actually live their life although mm -hmm. they're hearing wow they're gonna die soon yeah. it doesn't have to be a death sentence even if you hear no, it from someone like I, said, I, I i'm i'm i wasn't supposed to be here and here i am i think so, you uh, are that's why you are here yeah you just don't know sometimes the universe knows better than we than do we do it's not yeah. really <laughs> the way that life works it's not really logical it's mm. not it's more than that that our brain doesn't comprehend yeah exactly and you're a blessing to this world thanks for being here with us yeah thank you and if anybody out there you know has any questions feel free to reach out i'm pretty easy to find so i'm here if you need me sounds, sounds great. good <laughs> yeah. yes we want to see more of you and definitely we want to see you in some 
big exhibitions talking about your rock inspiring it, rock on the stage with a guitar yeah exactly yeah there you go <laughs> yeah exactly the <laughs> punk rock way yeah <laughs> nice yeah. Oh, great. Sure, I'll play uh, off yeah. with the ukulele. Yeah. <laughs> I, could, I, could, I, could play a, I could play us out. Sure. sure, to finish it up. again billy thanks we so talk much soon. billy we'll talk soon take care have a great day vegan power ciao ciao